Yes, India finally made it, and Chandrayaan 3 is currently on the moon, which is something, yeah, I know crazy. No one was expecting that, but India made it. Congrats, India. So it's not an easy job for a project, but by the help of Indian Space Research Organization, now every Indian and even other foreign country, they are so proud of India. It's not only about that, but the most unique thing about Chandrayaan 3, guys, it landed on the south pole of the moon with, an, with a budget which was not really expected. But this really means that it's not about money, like it's not about cash. So it is about the hard work, about the scientific, about the brain, about the plan. And India really proved it that they can do it with whatever budget by the help of their scientific. So uh, the Chandrayaan 3 is basically going to help India like to explore the moon and moreover like to, 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 to get the invaluable scientific data which is really going to help in the economic of the country and make India great. So I am African student in India and today I'm going to do a short interview by asking other African or foreign student in India on how or what they know about Chandrayaan 3 and we'll see what other benefit they can tell us about Chandrayaan 3. So let's go. Okay, I'm here with. Um, actually, here with Ochi Solomon Junior Helson, a Bachelor of Pharmacy graduate from Gritam University. I am a Ghanaian. And yes, today um, I'm here with Gabi Gabs TV and anything here. Okay, sir. So today we will want you to tell us, like, how will Chandrayaan 3 help India? Chandrayaan 3 is their third lunar exploration project under the Chandrayaan program. Now, under this program, India has tried to reach the lunar um, space. This, is, this isn't even tried only by India. Several private companies and countries have tried recently, and a non-profit Israeli um, company tried it, and then their machine exploded. Russia has tried it, and other countries are also trying it. So the Chandrayaan-3 has got several applications as far as India's, um, India's space exploration project is concerned. Now, a nuclear-armed India is always ready by Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Modi to show off their, space, their science and technological feat to the world, given that it is the, uh, it is the fifth um, world um, strongest economy as we speak now. So one thing that this feat brings to the Indian country is the space application, that it gives the student the edge that, okay, space in, in this country has gotten a feat that the United States, the Russian, the U United Kingdoms will look at, because they are the first country to reach the southern pole of the moon. Every country has tried, or most countries have tried, but they, are, they have been unsuccessful. This project had um, a rover called Pragyan and then a lander um, Vikram. In their Chandrayaan 2 program, the lander exploded. So scientists of Indian descent made changes to their lander, and yes, successfully it has reached the southern pole of the moon. So in terms of space application, they have got a feat to show the world that yes, they are the first to go there. It creates the awareness for, for, for the Indian citizens, and it is a... It is one thing that the Indian citizens would always look at when they want to achieve another feat in terms of um, space exploration. So I'm here with... Uh, my name is Michael Jatta and I'm from uh, Gitam University. Okay. I'm, I'm from the Gambia, uh, okay. West African country. Okay. Uh, right there. So uh, what do you think is the benefit of Chandrayaan 3 to India? Okay, uh, Chandrayaan 3, I think it's the first uh, Indian aircraft that arrived on the moon and it was a very good achievement for the Indians. Uh, it really uh, cost them less than it did for other countries. So for me, I think it's going to help in their economic growth as a country, India, because the space industry is going to grow. The sector of the space industry is going to grow with immense uh, commercial potential and um, it will grow the, that sector, that particular sector. More people will come inside, uh, more research will be done, uh, jobs will be created from, for a lot of uh, other individuals. So the economic growth will be, will just rise up and then they can challenge with other com uh, countries. So. Yeah, so I'm here with... Uh, my name is David Lahai from Sierra Leone, a final year student at Anglia University. 
Okay, Mr. David, so recently India has made it to the moon, which they call it Chandrayaan-3. So how do you think Chandrayaan-3 will help India? But first of all, through lunar exploration, the Chandrayaan-3 will help India in the quest for further exploration of the moon, okay. to explore its resources and minerals and for further exploration to the moon. So I'm here with? Flavio George. Uh, I'm from Angola. I'm studying in AU, Andhra University, and I'm in my last year. Okay, so recently India has made it to the moon. So what, how do you think like Chandrayaan-3 will help India? Uh, we, we, we all saw the news and it was a successful launch. And for the technological advancement, the, the launch and operation of, of Chandrayaan-3, I, I don't know if I'm correcting it, Properly, yes, yes. That it's like, okay. uh, it will showcase Indian's technological and capabilities and, and will contribute his status as a global space power. Yeah, as we can see that uh, we live in this world as a mysterious and there are so many planets and so many people don't know what's happening in another remaining planet. So these things may be, maybe will help, for, help the world for the technological side and also to discover what is really have on other planets and if we we can like uh, match or inter, inter, have an interrelationship with what is going on in another planet. India is not the first country I, I guess but and I think with uh, the help of other countries that have been doing also that they can find out so many mysterious that is on the space. Good day viewers. I am Asan Biai from the Gambia West Africa. Today I am here with Gavs Gabi. So um, I am basically studying or pursuing a degree in MSCS currently in Gitam University, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, Mr. Hassan, so recently India has made it to the moon, uh, which they call it Chandrayaan-3. So how do you think that will help India? Yeah, thank you for that question. Um, I believe um, this is one way to inspire youths or youngsters in India, as in it will encourage them to pursue careers in the field of science, mathematics, engineering, and so on. Um, the other point I think uh, it can help India with is uh, with scientific research. They will be interested to go further and further. So uh, it will provide uh, valuable scientific information for the scientists that are in the project. So right now we are living alone in this galaxy it will give them more information about the galaxy because right now the only the only part where you can find living beings is on earth out of the, all the other planets so finding another galaxy or finding another place of living uh, it will be good so it will also help them to know more about the moon and its uh, geology it, the way it's composed and all the components of the moon so there's so much to explore out there and then they're just getting to the tip of the start. So I think that's uh, another one to add to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Once again, on the application of this program, you know, the ISRO chief um, scientist, Sumanath, said, India has got the uh, capability to reach the, the, the moon, the Mars, and then the Venus. All that it needs is the, the investment. Now, another application in this sense is that education and outreach benefit that it gives to the Indians. Indian students will now have the, the ability to know that studies in space exploration in this country will be beneficial and there will be an opportunity for them to advance the country's program. Hence, it becomes a very, a very great um, space for Indians, the diaspora Indians, and then other foreign nationals to come into India and study their, their space exploration. Thank you. All right. Uh, for the national pride, the mission will boost the moral and national pride of the Indian citizen. And as it demonstrates the country's ability to undertake the complex spaces, the missions, it will be also good for Indians. They will be known more and more as they, they have been known uh, right now. So there will be a country that so many people will be interested to explore and know what is really they are discovering with this mission. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you so much. Chandrayaan 3, I believe, will provide um, opportunities for collaboration with international space agencies and also organizations. Yeah. Um, so many people think this is not possible. Many countries think it's not possible. But India has done it. So other countries can also do it. Thank you. Jai Hindi.